First, we look at all of the projects Casimir has access to. As can be seen, there is no project called Hidden Project. Going into his settings, we can see that he also only has access to his own workspace. Now, in Kieran's workspace, we see Kieran's hidden project that Casimir was not able to see. However, Casimir knew about the CSRF vulnerability and crafted a malicious site to abuse it. He then tricks Kieran into visiting the site by telling him it has information about how to fix a problem he mentioned he had in the public Slack channel. Now, back in Casimir's account, we can see he has an invite link to Kieran's workspace. After accepting the invite, Casimir is now able to see the Hidden Project project. Here, we demonstrated a phishing style attack to compromise a user and gain access to their workspace. However, an attacker could also couple this with our XSS vulnerability by inviting an unsuspecting victim to work on a project, injecting the malicious payload into the debug sample tab and directing them there, where the same malicious code will be executed. Once an attacker has gained access to a workspace using this method, they can then upload debug samples containing the combined XSS with CSRF payload to further compromise additional users.